Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to sell iron condors and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A short iron condor, or most usually known as just an iron condor, is a directionally neutral option strategy that combines two credit spreads, the bull put spread and a bear call spread, all using the same underlying security and expiration date. The fact that this iron condor is short means that you'll collect a credit. With a short iron condor, the goal is for the underlying securities price to remain between the short strikes until expiration so that all four options expire worthless. And when that happens, you'll achieve the maximum profit condition and keep the net premium collected. Now, if the underlying asset moves beyond the short strikes, the strategy will end up in a loss. However, it will be limited by the long options that act as a hedge. A short iron condor can be set up by either looking for new opportunities or with a specific stock or ETF in mind. In this video, you'll learn how to scan the entire market for iron condor opportunities, and then later, I'll show you how to find iron condors on specific stocks. Now, let's head on over to barchart.com to look for short iron condor trades. Once you're there, click on options at the top, then look for short iron condor. This will immediately bring you to the results page where you can find some likely trades. Now, the default results page includes relevant trade information like the trade legs, maximum profit, maximum loss, and probability of loss. Each column header can be clicked, allowing you to arrange the results from highest to lowest or lowest to highest of your chosen column header. Now, these results are already a perfect start that will offer you a healthy balance of risk and reward while offering you various trade ideas that you can choose from. However, if you want a more granular search, you can click on the Set Filter tab here at the top left corner of the page. And this brings you to the Options Screener page, which contains default filters for this specific strategy. To add filters, you can click on the Add a Filter field, and then type in your preferred selection. These filters range from option details to stock and company information, like the financials, technical analysis, and so on. Everything you might ever need is right here on the option screener. You can also remove what you don't need or don't want, but I do want to bring to your attention the probability of loss. Generally, short iron condors have higher risk-reward ratios than most other trades, so you'll likely want to keep your chances of loss to a minimum. The default value for the probability of loss is less than 50%, but I like trades heavily skewed in my favor, so I'll set the probability to less than 10%. Now, it's important to know that the lower the probability of loss, the lower the potential profit. All right, so let's go ahead and click on see results. And here we go. Now, I'm going to start by arranging the results according to the highest maximum profit to find a potential trade. But before we proceed with the trade example, it's important to know that you can also save your screener to reuse it later. You can also have bar chart email you at a specified time with all the newest trades that match your filters. Just click Save Screener near the top right, then type in the name of the screener, and click on when you want the emails to arrive. Okay, so let's use the first trade idea on our list for illustration purposes. And this is a short iron condor on Tesla. Here's how it works. First, Tesla's stock is currently trading at $238.25. For this trade, you'd sell the $300 strike call and collect $2.51 a share, and buy the $350 strike call for $0.65 a share. On the put side, you'll sell the $150 strike put and collect $0.39 a share, and then buy the $100 strike put for $0.07 a share. This setup 
results in a total credit of $2.18 a share, or $218 per contract. Your maximum loss on the trade is $47.82 per share, with break-even prices at $302.18 and $147.82. All the options expire on October 18th, which is 26 days from the scan date. And the trade has a risk-reward ratio of 21.94 to 1, with an only 8.4% probability of loss. Let's go ahead and break down the trade. With this short iron condor, you want Tesla stock to trade between $150 and $300. Those are your short strikes at expiration. So let's say Tesla's stock price trades at $240 by expiration. Well, if that's the case, it means that all four options expire out of the money, and you get to keep the full premium credit for the trade, which is $2.18 a share, or $218 per contract. To calculate the maximum profit on a short iron condor, simply add the premium received from the short options, and then subtract the premiums paid for the long options. If, however, the price of Tesla stock trades beyond your long option strike prices, you'll hit the maximum loss condition for the trade. To calculate the maximum loss, you can take the difference between the strike prices on one side of the trade, and that's called the width of the spread, or the spread width, and then you subtract the net premium that you received at the start. In this case, the width is $50, and you collected $2.18 in premium, making your maximum loss $47.82, or $4,782 per contract. Here's how the trade would look like if Tesla reaches certain prices at expiration. As you can see, if Tesla's stock price stays within the short strikes at expiration, you'll achieve maximum profit. Meanwhile, any price movement beyond the long strikes will result in a maximum loss. And the area between the long and short strikes will lead to partial losses or gains depending on the price relative to the break-even points. So far, you've learned how to scan the market for short iron condor trades. But what if you wanted to use the strategy for a specific asset, like on NVIDIA? Well, Bar Chart has you covered. First, search for the stock ticker to go to its profile page. Then, click on Condor Strategies on the left-hand side of the screen. Then, click on the Short Iron Condor tab. From here, you can change expiration dates, strike prices for the different trade legs, and rearrange the results based on different filters. One of the biggest advantages of a short iron condor is its limited risk, which makes it a favorite among many traders. The profit range can also be quite broad, making the chances of profit better than many trades. However, maximum profits are capped, and due to its natural bias, short iron condors are great in low volatility markets. It also hugely benefits from time decay or theta decay, since options lose their value as they approach expiration. Lastly, flexibility is one of the most underrated benefits of the short iron condor, as you can adjust the trade by rolling the strikes or the expiration dates to manage risks and improve profitability. However, it's worth mentioning that short iron condors, like all short options trades, have limited profitability, which is capped at the net credit that you receive. It's also vulnerable to massive price swings and requires accurate forecasting and analysis. Further, with its four trade legs, higher commissions, and trading fees, well, they're taken out of your profit. Iron condors can also be susceptible to early assignment on both the downside and the upside, which can impact the trade. The short iron condor is a particularly popular trading strategy due to its limited risk profile, yet it requires a somewhat static market for it to work. That's why it's important to assess your trades closely, utilize every tool that you have, including option screeners, and consider the chances of profit before jumping in. If you'd like more information, visit the Bar Chart Options Learning Center, where you can find more information about the short iron condor, as well as all of the other options trading strategies that we have available.